Hi everyone, in this video I will go over health insurance plans offered by Valley Health Plan in Santa Clara County and surrounding areas and will try to make it easy for you to understand how to compare plans side by side and get the best value for your money. If you're shopping for health insurance, this video will help you make an educated decision regarding the health plan you're going to select for you and your family. This is not a sponsored video. No one paid me to talk about this company. I am a licensed insurance agent in California and have contracts with all the insurance companies in the state. I offer my services to people shopping for health insurance and uh, have uh, multiple videos about other insurance plans like Blue Shield, Kaiser Health Net, Oscar, Anthem Blue Cross, as well as options available via Covered California. I will receive a commission if I help you enroll in a health insurance plan. If you would like some help with plan selection, determining if you qualify for a subsidy, need to compare plans, or don't know whether PP or HMO is right for you, or simply know everything but you want to support a local, local small business, please allow me to help and be your insurance agent. I am thankful to be of assistance regardless. Okay, so moving on to the important stuff. Valley Health Plan, or VHP for short, is a local insurance company with contracts throughout Santa Clara County and recently expanding to surrounding uh, counties. At the moment, they offer HMO plans on the individual market and have employee benefit, uh, benefits, group plans, or commercial options as well. Uh, most people ignore the VHP plan mainly because they don't know it or because it's too cheap to be true. Um, I will show you the advantages and disadvantages of this health insurance option and help you make a decision during the open enrollment. So let's start with the basis. VHP is an HMO. This means that you will have to choose a primary care provider, which is no brainer, not a problem, and it's even a good thing. The primary care doctor will help you manage and coordinate care. Now, second characteristic of HMO is that you will need to get a referral to see a specialist. This could be an issue for some, but if you rarely see specialists, this should not be a concern. Besides, the referral process is a simple authorization and if done properly, should not affect your care at all. Now, third thing is in-network care only with HMOs. Just like Kaiser, that is also an HMO, with VHP, you will only be able to access in-network hospitals, doctors, and other providers. So to sum this up, so far with an HMO plan, you need to stay in network, you need to select the primary care doctor and get referrals to see a specialist. I will have a link under this video with the complete list of hospitals, doctors, urgent care centers, labs, pharmacies in network with VHP. Some of the major hospitals in network with VHP are O'Connor Hospital, St. Louis Regional, uh, Freeman Hospital, Lucil Packard Children's Hospital at Stanford, Santa Clara Valley Medical Center, and um, Stanford Hospital. Um, but only the hospital is in network, so be careful. You won't be able to see Stanford, Stanford providers by choice. Um, doctors have a uh, separate uh, contracts from the hospital, so don't assume otherwise. Uh, for specific doctors, you can use the database to search what doctors are in network with this insurance company. I have all the useful links below this video. You can select your VHP plan via Covered California, or you can apply directly with VHP. Um, if you qualify for a subsidy, I highly recommend applying via Covered California as you will pay less for same health insurance plan. If you would like to check um, your eligibility for financial help, you can look at the program eligibility table available on my website. I have also uh, recorded a video on this topic that will help you determine if you can get a subsidy. Check it out. This will help you save some money. Now, I can't move on without talking about the premium. VHP is the lowest cost insurance plan in Santa Clara County and has been since I remember. So if you reside in Santa Clara County or in any zip codes where this plan is offered, it's a chance for you to learn about this plan and its benefits and save some big bucks in the long run. So to make it easy to understand and compare insurance plans, remember that all plans are grouped in four main categories, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. 
These categories show how you and your insurance plan share costs. There is also a catastrophic plan for those who are younger than uh, 30 years old. I will go over these categories and show you the premium and details shortly. This side-by-side -side comparison is worth a thousand words. It's very easy to compare all these plans side-by-side -side and select the plan that will really work for you and not waste money on something that might not even be worth. Most of the time, people make this mistake and overpay for plans that have no deductibles, but Keep watching and you will be amazed that this is a big mistake. The insurance companies don't really want you to know this for obvious reasons, but I have no problem teaching you how to save money. Remember, no one paid me to record this video, so I can say whatever I want and whatever I know. As I explain all these plans, please consider the following. What is your risk tolerance? How many times you usually go to the doctors per year? Are you planning any major surgery or planning to have a baby in the next year? Um, and pay attention to the deductible as it's not as, best, as bad as it sounds, okay? You will see that soon. So notice that the deductible and the out-of-pocket is slightly different for all these plans. For those who don't know what is the out-of-pocket, this is the maximum out-of-pocket you pay per year. It includes the deductible, coinsurance, and co-pays. How soon you pay this out-of-pocket depends on the plan, contract, and your risks. You'll, uh, I'll give you an example. Bronze plans have a high deductible, but this, uh, there are a few things that you can do without getting into the deductible. I will tell you about that in a minute. Before getting into that, I wanted to mention that all these plans have no charge for preventative care. Things like routine physical exam, mammograms, routine prenatal care visits, uh, first po postpartum visit, and other preventative care is included at no extra cost. Here's the coverage that I mentioned that might um, give you the aha moment. Here's something very important to keep in mind. Notice that the bronze plan gives you the option to see a doctor or go to urgent care three times per year without getting into the deductible. This is extremely important for those who rarely go to the doctor but don't want to go broke by paying thousands if they have to go. So with the VHP bronze, uh, you will have the option to have three visits per year, not subject to deductible, and you only pay a copay of $65. Now, another big deal is the lab test. The bronze plan allows you to pay just $40 flat rate for most of your labs. I say it's a big deal because just a lab alone could easily be $2,000 and if you have to pay this much towards your deductible just for the lab alone, it will impact your uh, pocket dramatically. Now, most x-rays, uh, MRIs, CT scans will be subject to deductible with all bronze plans. Let's take a look at the hospital care. Um, given that a typical hospital stay could be very expensive, here is a, uh, important to look that at the maximum out-of-pocket cost. Let's look at an example to see how the out-of-pocket maximum works. Let's assume that a person is hospitalized and stays in the hospitals for three days. For this hospitalization, the bill is $50,000. Since this person has insurance, they will not be responsible for the entire bill, but will pay the maximum out-of-pocket per contract of the plan. So in our case, let's see what the cost will be with each of the tiers. If this person has a bronze plan, they will pay the deductible plus 40% of the bill, but everything they pay out-of-pocket per year, per year will be um, will not be more than the out-of-pocket max, which is 9,100. Everything I say in this video uh, relates to year 2024. This person has a silver plan. They will pay the deductible and 20% of the bill, but they will also be no more than the out-of-pocket max. So... Um, I hope uh, you got the point. If the person has a gold plan, notice that there is no deductible, but they will still pay 20% of the surgery uh, bill. And again, not more than the out-of-pocket max. 
With the platinum plan, there is no deductible and you pay 10% of the surgery cost, but again, not more than the out-of-pocket cost, which is lower than the other three. Now, this is the case of surgeries and hospitalizations. I'm going to say something very important now, so if you're doing something else, please pay attention. The silver plan has a deductible notice, but it only applies when there is a surgery or hospitalization. If you're going to the doctor, urgent care, emergency room, doing labs and tests and scans and so on, you will not pay a deductible. You will only pay it when there is a hospitalization or surgery with the silver plan. With the bronze plan, you may be subject to deductible if you are doing certain procedures, but if you all you have uh, done through the years is see a doctor once or twice a year and maybe had a lab, then there is no point to pay lots of money and get a plan without deductible just for the sake of it. If, uh, if you study this well, you will do yourself a favor. I hope we are clear on the out-of-pocket cost. If you have questions, please type it below and I'll do my best to respond. If you have a specific question, please reach out to me directly and I will do my best to help. Now, this is a very cool thing I want to mention with VHP. You have access to MD Live. This allows you to have virtual visits with the doctor. And this service is available 24-7, 365 days a year. And of course, as required by law, all plans cover basic pediatric and uh, pediatric dental and vision. Now, going back to the side-by-side -side comparison of plans, I wanted to mention that it does not include the enhanced silver plans 94, 87, 773. These plans are available via Cover California. Uh, please reach out to me and I will help you understand if you qualify for any of these enhanced plans which have uh, out-of-pocket maximums as low as $800 a year. The cost of the plans are also low if you qualify for a subsidy. So, that's all for this plans. If you would like more details, I would suggest to look at the summary benefits for the plan that you are considering. If you need a summary of benefits, please email me and I will provide it to you. If you need help comparing VHP with other insurance plans in your area, please reach out and I will gladly do that for you. I'm a broker. I have contracts with all the insurance companies in the state and can give you the estimate. Also, if you're shopping for health insurance plans in the Cover California and have no idea what plan to select or have issues with the eligibility, please feel free to delegate me as your agent in the Cover California and I can help at no cost. As an independent insurance agent, I can help you and this does not affect how much you pay for your health plans. We are prohibited by law to uh, charge anything extra, so I'm truly offering to help you at no cost. That's all for today. If you would like to explore other videos on health insurance, please subscribe to my channel. I have good stuff here. Um, you may like, share if this was useful to you, and feel free to, have, to leave a comment and share your thoughts. Thanks everyone and stay safe.